This is a screencast that goes over strong versus weak annotations that are modeled by the teacher. And I, I want to use this to show some things that students commonly do that are really great examples of annotations and things that students do that are not something you should be repeating in your annotations. Um, first of all, annotations, I don't usually give you a set number of annotations you should, you should have. I say you should be detailed. I say you should be in-depth. And what that means is that um, you are annotating frequently enough that I can tell that you're reading through the whole text and they're kind of spaced evenly throughout the text. Um, and then I'm also looking that you're in-depth, that you're showing that you're thinking while you're reading. And that's going to look different for different people. If you're a really strong reader, maybe you're going to have some longer comments but less frequent. If you're a weaker reader, maybe you need to make them more frequently, but they're not going to be as in-depth as a strong reader because you're just working on, on learning how to think while you're reading and you're not thinking as in-depth about the text, and that's okay. We're all kind of starting at different places and we need to do different things. Um, my mom was with a poem called The Summer, I was 16, and I thought that was appropriate as you guys are coming back from school. Um, maybe thinking about your summer coming up or your past summer since you're around that age. So let's read this poem together first. The turquoise pool rose up to meet us, its slide a silver afterthought down which we plunged, screaming into a mirage of bubbles. We did not exist beyond the gaze of a boy. Shaking water off our limbs, we lifted up from ladder rungs across the fern cool lip of rim. Afternoon. Old and sated, we sunbathed, rose and paraded the concrete. Danced to the low beat of Gerald of Duke of Earl, past cherry colas, hot dogs, dreamsicles. We came to the counter where bees staggered into root beer cups and drowned. We gobbled candy cane torches, sweet as furtive kisses, shared on benches beneath summer shadows, cherry elm sycamore. We spread our chenille blankets across grass, pressed radios to our ears, mouthed the old words, then loosened thin bikini straps and rubbed baby oil with iodine across sunburned shoulders tossing a glance through the chain link in an improbable world. Okay, so that's our poem. The first example that we're going to look at is annotations that show what a deep reader is going to say. So with the word afterthought here, we're going to have a guess, maybe means something you think of later. Um, with mirage, maybe means a pile of bubbles. That's not actually what mirage means, but it kind of makes sense, and I can see as a teacher that that reader is trying to make sense of what's going on. Um, and they are here. I kind of come back to this and comment later after I read. Um, and I write, I think the author uses this to show that they don't really have a lot of worries or cares beyond relaxing and boys in the summer. That's the point of this poem. When you're 16, you're kind of carefree, hopefully. Okay. Um, and then I think this poem, when we get to this line, I think this poem takes place decades ago based on the way they act you know, with the radios to their ears and things like that. But these things are still the same today. So the cherry colas, the hot dogs, the dream sickles, okay? Um, cotton candy torches, I wrote metaphor. So I'm a deeper reader here, um, and you might not be a deeper reader. Uh, so you might not, if you're a weaker reader, you might still guess at the meaning here and put torches as a stick the candy is on because that kind of makes sense. Um, furtive seems like it means serious. And chenille seems to be a type of fabric. And then I guess this, this annotation got pushed onto the next page. And then at the very end, I, I put based on the poem, maybe improbable refers to things that are actually serious, which is different from everything that happens inside the fence of the pool, where everything is carefree. So that's kind of my guess of improbable. But I'm also kind of evaluating what the, the poet means. I'm making some connections. I'm making some guesses at meaning. That's what a, a, a deep reader is going to do with their annotations. Whether you're a skilled reader or you're a developing reader, you're going to have these kind of in-depth comments and guesses at meaning. Now let me go over to this side. And we have a limited reader. And this is what I see some students do. And basically, if you look at my annotations, like just look at my annotations. I like pools. I don't know. Boy crazy. Walking on concrete. What's this mean? And swimming. Fence. Um, I can't even tell if this person read the poem at all. What it looks like to me is that they highlighted a couple words and then just put stuff off to the side that connected. Like pool, I like pools. Well, you don't actually have to know what's going on in the rest of the passage to write that. 
Um, I came across the word in a note, so I just wrote, I don't know, off to the side. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to write that. Boy, boy crazy. Again, that's not really the point of this poem, and so I'm not really being able to tell that this person has actually read the poem. Um, paraded the concrete. This person is just rewriting that couple words that they came across instead of actually making some connection of meaning. They're not showing me that they're thinking through the text. What's this mean? Again, I don't want to know that you don't know the word. I want to know your guesses at meaning because that's what actually requires thought. Just writing, I don't know what this means or what's this mean, doesn't require any thought on your part. So you're not thinking while reading by just writing that. Um, swimming off to bikini, so we're making a connection between those things. But again, you're not showing me that you're reading the poem. And chain link goes with fence. Okay, but again, you didn't actually have to read the poem to say that. You could just come across chain link and make that connection. Uh, so this is really just showing that you're not thinking while you're reading these kind of annotations, and that's what you want to avoid. Um, so instead, you, you want it to look like you've put some thought into it, okay? Um, and so your annotations are going to look different. We kind of have the same number of annotations, but the amount of depth is really different here. Okay, so you're aiming more for something like this that shows thought, trying to avoid something like this that doesn't really require uh, thinking while you're reading. Thanks.